Hello, my name is Maturis and welcome to Best Unknown Indie Games of October 2018. If it's your first time here, push the subscribe button, push the like button. And uh, yeah, we found some great news games and also some console games. So if you're interested in console games, check out the whole video. Let's start with the first one. The first game on the list is Honey, I Joined the Call, developed by Zol Survivor Games and published by the same company. This game will be available on Steam. In Honey, I Joined the Cult, you get control over your own cult in 1970. Build and expand your base, manage your resources and make as much money of your followers as you can. The first thing you need to do is set up your cult headquarter. Cultists don't need much, but they definitely need to use the toilet at some stage of the game. And if you give them a bed, they will definitely stay at your headquarter. This game will give you a lot of possibilities to manipulate your cultists and extract their money. That's the biggest goal in this game. So if you've always wanted to set up your own cult, go to the description down below and push the link and put this game in your wish list. The second game on the list is Meeple Station, developed by Fox Game and also published by Fox Game, and it will be available on Steam on the PC. Meeple Station is a cooperative space station simulator, strongly inspired by Dwarven Fortress and Rimworld. If you've never played Dwarven Fortress and Rimworld before, well, let me tell you what game style this will be. You will not get full control of your meeples. You will be able to build your space station and your meeples will do their job. Every guy gets his own job and it will do as he likes. So if they don't like things, things will get messy in this game. You will be able to give orders to build stuff, to mine stuff. You will be able to sell certain things in the game, but then the meeples will live their own life. And that's where the fun part starts, because you need to check out how your meeples feel, what they want, and you need to predict what they're going to do. You can build the space station as you wish. You get the freedom to build it as long as you have the resources and keep your meeples happy, because if they're not happy, they will eject themselves out of the airlock. And that isn't a pleasant sight if you only get one miner and he jumps out of the airlock because he's a little bit depressed. As you slowly build up your space station you need to protect it from every danger that will come. A meteor shower, alien invasion, everything is possible in this game. So let your meeple work hard and uh, try not to kill the officer because he is a pain in the ass but you can't shove him out the airlock. If you like to see more of this game I've gotten the privilege to try the pre-alpha build of this game on my channel. A link will pop in down below and also in the description down below and you can check it out. I've also put a link down below in the description to the Kickstarter page of this game. You can still back it and there's also a demo available of the game on that page. So if you enjoyed building your space station or if you need to see more check out the links down below and uh, put meeple station in your wish list try this game out try the demo and see how much meeple you can get killed my score is already at seven visage is the first console game on the list it's available on playstation 4 xbox and windows Visage is a psychological horror game, so you must enjoy horror for this one. This game will take place in a saluted town in 1980. The house you are in has been there for centuries and the foundation never seems to decay. Doesn't a family have lived here? Many of them died brutally, while others lived their life placely in their beloved home. Visage will show you and will relive fragments of history that will send chills down your spine. Each of these fragments will drag you closer to what behind the dark history of this place. You will witness firsthand how people have died in this horrible house. Each death has its visage. Will you dare to look into it with your eyes? Inside the house you are defenseless, no weapon could save you from the dreadful entity stalking you from the next corner, the next door or underneath your feet. 
you will be able to pick up key elements, interact with the environment and search things that may help you escape this nightmare and pull you deeper into it. The families that have died in this house will haunt you and leave you wrestling. They'll follow your every move, watch you through from every corner, play tricks with your mind and try to attack you. Why do they haunt you? What have you done? This you will have to find out on your own. The eyeing will be part of the game. You'll need to avoid terror at all costs as dark entities are attracted to. It will maintain your mind as sane as possible will keep you from joining the ranks of the dead. Doing so will not be easy and you will have to figure out ways on your own to avoid ongoing insane. There are no tutorials on how to survive such game. Do you have the bones to play visage? Check out the link in the description down below and put the game in your wish list. We're already at the fourth game on the list and this game called Flotsam. This game is developed by Panya Lama Games and published by Concreta Inc. It will be available on PC. It was kinda hard to find videos of this game so I used some concept art first. Flotsam is a survival focused town builder in a flooded world. In Flotsam you'll manage a small group of drifters that try to survive in a world without land. The drifters will have to salvage Flotsam are sunken Flotsam for resources to build and construct whatever is needed. They also need to find ways to get fresh drinkable water and find food. The weather will be a great part in this game so if you enjoyed this kind of management game check out the link down below and put this game in your wish list. We already arrived at the last game on the list and this game is called The Council, developed by Big Bad Wolf and published by Focus Home Interactive. This game will be available on Xbox One, Playstation 4 and PC. The Council delivers a fresh new take on the narrative adventures, where your choices and the characters grow truly matter, making hard hitting decisions develop an array of skills and direct impact on the story and how it will unfold. With permanent long lasting consequences there is no going back in this game. Plunge into the tale of intriguing and manipulation in the style of a classic murder mystery. Live with the cast of or learn characters each hiding their own dark secret. Trust no one while uncovering dire truths no matter the cost to mind and body. The Council's first episode, The Mad Ones, arrives on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC in 13 March 2018. Complete season will include a total of 5 episodes. So check out the link down below and try the first episode of The Council's. If you enjoyed the games we brought to you this month, push the thumbs up button and leave the comment down below. If you got any games for me I should take a look at. Also put them in the comment down below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, push the subscribe button, push the little bell. And uh, I hope to see you all at the next episode of Best Unknown Indie Games.